to solve uh, electrical network we need to follow some laws and kirchhoff's law is one of them there are two types of kirchhoff's laws or you can say that there are two laws of this type kvl and kcl the first one is kirchhoff's current law kcl in short we say it is a kcl so kcl states that in a, any electrical network the algebraic sum of the currents meeting at a point is zero for example we will see take one exam uh, uh, so network this is the point say this is the point p uh we can see that i1 is fl uh, fl flowing towards p i2 is flowing towards p and i Four is also flowing towards P, but I three is flowing away from P. So we can say that all the currents which are flowing towards the point P, that is I one plus I two plus I three, is equal to the current which is flowing away from the point, that is I three. Sorry, this is I four. So in this network, I one plus I two plus I four is equal to I three. Incoming current is equal to outgoing current. Is uh, another statement which can be say uh, which uh, we can say with for uh, explaining KCL. This can also be written written as I one plus I two plus I four. Minus I three is equal to zero. This this uh, uh, expression proves that the algebraic sum of uh, the current at any point of a network is zero, because I one, I two, and I four are flowing in uh, towards the junction. We indicate that they are positive. value of the current and i3 is flowing away from the junction that is the magnitude is negative the second law of kirchhoff's is kirchhoff's voltage law kvn it states that the algebraic sum of the products of currents and and resistances in each of the conductors in any closed path in a network plus the algebraic sum of the emfs in that path is zero uh, this can also be written as summation of all the emfs in that closed network plus summation of ir drop is equal to zero we will uh, explain this with the help of one example so this is the example this is the network uh, here there are four resistances used here this is a uh, another branch the current is coming towards this and this is another branch so this is a point b this is c point and this is d point the current is coming here so there are four resistances with two emf battery connected according to kvl the expression we will write it we will start from this point from a so the voltage drop in r1 will be minus i1 r1 minus i2 r2 minus e2 plus I three, R three, because when I am applying KVL here, यहाँ पे आप देखिए positive बाद में आ रहा है, so plus I three R three plus E four minus I four R four is equal to zero. So this is KVL. We will take one example. Uh, 
this is the circuit given in this circuit using uh, kirchhoff's law determine the values of and direction of currents flowing in each of the batteries and in the external resistance also determine the potential difference across the external resistance so the things which we have to calculate are the values of the current and uh, the voltage difference across the external resistance okay we will assume the direction of current i1 is this and i2 is also this they are flowing from c2 towards a now applying kvl in the loop a b c d and a in this loop uh, we get this expression minus 20 12 sorry minus 12 and plus 2 i1 minus 1 i2 plus 8 is equal to 0 so we get the first expression like this now apply kvl in uh, a d c e a we get this expression using kvl and we get the second uh, expression equation solving these two ex uh, equations um, we can find i1 and i2 there are two ways a simple method is 2 i1 minus i2 is equal to 4 so i2 is equal to 2 i1 minus 4 so i2 we i got from here now putting the values of i2 in this equation equation number 2 it is 10 i1 plus 11 i2 i2 ke jagah pe hum likh denge 2 i1 minus 4 is equal to 8 so uh, keeping the values i2 here we can calculate i1 i1 is coming out to be 1.6625 ampere and uh, putting the values of i1 in this equation i can find out i2 which is coming out to be minus 0.75 ampere this negative sign indicates that the direction which we have assumed is uh, uh, the actual current is flowing in opposite direction there is another method to solve i1 and i2 and that is known as cramer's rule determinants and cramer's rule suppose there are two equations this is the first equation this is the second equation so we have to calculate i1 and i2 i will make determinant like the, the coefficients 2 and minus 1 2 minus 1 10 and 11 10 and 11 and here it is i1 and i2 De determinant of emfs here we'll calculate first calculate the determinant uh, delta here is the is solving uh like cross multiplying these two 22 into 11 22 plus uh 10 into 1 is 10 is coming out to be 32 delta 2 we get this by uh sorry delta 1 to calculate delta 1 we have to substitute this block by 4 by 8 here we write the determinant will become like 4 8 minus 1 and 11 solving this we get this 4 into 11 is 44 plus 8 into 1 is 8 is equal to 52 now to calculate delta 2 we have to make another determinant and it is like this 2 10 and this will be 4 8 So solving this, sixteen minus forty is equal to minus twenty-four. Now I want to find out I one. The formula is delta one upon delta will give me I one, and the value is coming out to be fifty-two upon thirty-two, which is equal to one point six two five ampere. To calculate I two, we have to use this formula delta two upon 
delta is equal to minus 24 upon 32 which is equal to minus 0 0.75 ampere.